I just got home from dress rehearsal that never was. So, it's about five to midnight. Um, and I'm very tired. So let's take her on the top. Okay, so got to the theatre, went in, um, they built the set and the props, the set itself and the props looked absolutely spot on, looked fantastic. They're really sturdy props, um, it's kind of professional, really, really heavy sets and stuff and it looked absolutely belted looked really really good um so i was cheered by that the band were there um i think they were paid for the tech rehearsal last night but of course it didn't happen so they stayed so they were there tonight so that was nice to have the band so anyway my spotlight hadn't been set up because they were just so far behind with yesterday. And where they told me to st that I would be standing, they've now put, <laughs> shocker of shockers, they've put a speaker and a light there, so I can't stand there anymore. So tonight I had to stand on the main stage, which meant that there were parts where Shrek and Donkey came over and they were stood literally shoulder to shoulder with me on the stage so not sure how that's going to sort itself out um they promised me a spotlight for when i do the show on wednesday night and we started the dress rehearsal about an hour late so anyway started got through um, the majority of the first half and then there's the scene where the dragon comes on and they've got this dragon that's kind of like a cross between a, a an English dragon and a Chinese dragon so it has to be carried on these um, like harnesses and the guys had never tried these harnesses on before. And apparently this thing is so heavy that when you're wearing a harness, it is either digging into your back or it's digging right into your front. And the guys were really, really struggling with the harness. Um, so that was a pain. They they had to stop. They just said, right, we're going to have to stop now because we need to work out how to get the dragon on and off. Aren't we? So we stopped for about 20 minutes. And the dragon came on, the dragon went off, and the guy's really, 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 really struggling with it. And then they said, right, okay, yeah, we can carry on now. So we carried on. That's enough of that. Um, so we carried on. And got to the end of the first half. Then we had about 10 minutes break while everybody went for a pee. Um, do you like the hair, by the way? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so then we started the second half. And I don't wear a watch, so I didn't know what time it was or anything. So anyway, we're, we're going into the second half. And then they went, stop, 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 stop everything. We've got to work out when this comes on, when there's... And by this point, poor Fiona was in a bit of a mess because she was saying, well, I nearly got hit by something coming down then that I didn't know was there. So anyway, it, it was a bit... And we knew it was going to be stop, start. That was absolutely fine. But anyway... We got a third of the way into the second half. And then the stage manager came onto the stage and just said, right, that's it. We've run out of time. Everybody needs to go home now. You need to leave. So we did. <laughs> so. The upshot is that opening night is tomorrow and the actors are going to go on stage and deliver a show to a paying audience that's not ready. 
the the big reveal in the end where Fiona does the ah, and turns into yeah live on stage while all the other actions going on and and Farquaad's getting eaten by the dragon spoiler alert um they've never run it they've never run it so genuinely don't know what's going to happen for me for my bit it's no surprise that there was no stop the spotlight so there'll either be one or there won't it's no surprise that I was told this is where you're going to stand and now it's completely different and I'm just going to have to fend for myself so little inconveniences and so long as I don't trip over one of these bloody cables they've got on the floor, that's all it'll be. It's not an active danger. It's just an inconvenience. Um, the dragon's lost her voice. So they've got somebody backstage singing over it, but the person singing backstage is singing something completely different to what this girl is, is miming. And it threw me completely. But I did okay. You know, I've done the show before. But because everybody was so busy thinking about where they were in relation to the props, where they were in relation to people bringing props on, where they were in relation to these flies coming down, people were so busy, like, I'm not sure what's going on, because they didn't get a tech rehearsal, that they were missing the cues for the songs, which, of course, affects me. Um, they were missing lines because they were just, everybody was just so flustered. And it's not a good way to start a show week, you know. They're they're not they're not professionals. They're just people who love the theatre and they want to act. And they're going into this thing tomorrow, opening night, where they're not ready and they're not going to be enjoying it. And you can't stay in character if you're worried about getting clunked on the head by something. So yeah, it was a bit bit choppy. I did okay. Um, the things that I wanted to change, I did manage to change. But yeah, I don't feel like I can deliver as good a show as I want to. But the deaf audience will get the same show as the hearing audience. Even if that means that I have to stand there while everybody forgets their lines and, and don't do anything. Or... If they're late coming in for a song and I'm late starting the song, they get the same show. I'm beginning to think that parachuting into Aladdin like I'm doing, where I don't get, I get a tech, kind of, but I don't get a dress rehearsal. I'm just going straight in and doing it. I'm beginning to think that's the way forward. Because it's so disappointing when you turn up for a tech rehearsal that then isn't and then you turn up for a dress rehearsal that then isn't or, or gets like stopped halfway through. And it's just the way they did it. You know, right, that, that's it. We've run out of time. Get out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if I feel this frustrated, I can only imagine what the cast are feeling at the moment. And the board director's probably tearing his hair out. But it, it's... It is what it is. Now, I have a ticket to go and see it tomorrow. But I don't think I'm going to go. Because I want to get behind this show. I want to get behind the group. I want to get behind all the actors and really support them as much as I can. So I don't want to drive 30 miles in each direction to see a show that's not ready and that I'll come away from feeling disappointed because that will affect how I then feel about the show and it shouldn't but it will you know we're all we're only human after all so yeah I don't think I'm going to go and see it tomorrow I think I'm just going to let them bed it in tomorrow then they've got Wednesday afternoon and then I do my thing Wednesday night so by the time I do my thing They'll have had two full shows. So hopefully by Wednesday night, they'll have ironed out all the issues and, and got all the sets and what have you sorted out. So it'll be all right. 
we shall see. And it's way too late for me to have a shower now because I wake up all my neighbours, so I'm going to have to sleep with this in the air and hope it doesn't go all over my bed sheets in the night. And just, you know what? I'm having a milkshake before I go to bed. Um, so, yeah. Frustrating as hell. But as long as I get onto the stage okay without tripping over anything as long as i can be seen by my audience as long as i could get off the stage without tripping over anything then the rest is is out of my control there's nothing i can do i know the show i've learned my bits i just need to get on there and do it and get through it and then relax and then move on. I don't like finishing a, a video it, it just kind of like ambiguously. But that's where we are. So decision made. I'm not going to go and see the show tomorrow night. And I'm just going to turn up on Wednesday night and hope for the best. So I'm sure I will speak to you then.